Thank you all for coming today. Um, we're here today to give information concerning the horrific event that occurred on July 2nd, 2023. Our 911 center received a call that a stabbing had occurred at 779 Folly Creek Lane, Green Pond, South Carolina. That the house was on fire and victims were still inside. When fire rescue and sheriff's office arrived, they found the home was fully engulfed in flames and the only surviving victim was outside the residence. Deputies were able to speak to the survivor who provided the first name and the description of the suspect and his vehicle. The surviving victim was treated at the scene for cuts and stabs and airlifted to a hospital. As soon as it became apparent that there were numerous victims deceased inside the residence and that there was an indication of criminal mischief, assistance was requested from SLED's arson team, crime scene unit, and regional agents. While on scene, detectives were able to uncover the last name of the suspect from a family member. He was identified as Ryan Leonard Manigo. It is my understanding that he is the brother-in-law of victim Michelle Marie, Marie Wright and father of Sharia Manigo, two of the victims. These two victims were identified as being in the house and deceased by the witness from what was described as stab wounds. We are currently waiting on positive ID on the other four victims through a pending autopsy. The suspect was detained near the scene and arrested shortly after detectives were able to confirm his last name. He was booked into the Calden County Sheriff's Office and charged with the attempted murder of the surviving juvenile victim. Solicitor Stone will go over these charges in a moment. Search warrants were obtained and executed on the suspect's home and vehicles by members of the Calden County Sheriff's Office and the State Law Enforcement Division. The evidence collected has been sent to the State Law Enforcement Division for analysis. At this time, we do not have a motive. This is a very active investigation, and as details emerge, we will forward them to the family and the media. I'd like to take an opportunity to thank the family because they were a tremendous help to us yesterday. They were able to provide us information. They were able to help us with the crowd, which was very large. And I ask that the public keep this family and our community in their prayers as we move forward. Solicitor Stone. Thank you, Sheriff. Ryan Leonard Manigo has been charged with the following, two counts of murder, one for the death of 50-year-old Michelle Marie Wright and the death of his daughter, 11-year-old Sharia Manigo. He has also been charged with attempted murder of a 13-year-old. At 3 o'clock today, he was taken before a magistrate to have these charges read to him. Bond was not set. As the two murder charges carry potential life sentences, those must be set by a circuit court judge. My office will arrange those and schedule those through our chief administrative judge within the next few days, and we will notify the public of that, of that hearing. As the sheriff said, this is an ongoing investigation. We will not be able to answer any questions However, I must remind you first that the defendant at this time is presumed innocent. These are charges, and he remains innocent, presumed innocent, until, if and to, until he is convicted in a court of law. Second, at this time, we anticipate that there will be more charges in this case. Those, tra as those charges are brought. We will also notify uh, the family first and then the public. Uh, again, thank you uh, to the family. Thank you for your time today. Uh, again, we will not be able to answer any questions as this is an ongoing investigation. Thank you.